It's Angela Wolf, and welcome to Behind the Scenes on Friday, because Facebook and the entire internet world did not work on Wednesday. And if you saw my my blog post, it said I should have gone fishing. There is some truth to that. So anyways, we're hoping that the live show works today. If not, I'm going to have to come up with solution number two. So roll in, say hi. I know it's not our usual time. I sent a newsletter out on Wednesday, right after I realized that Facebook was not going to behave. So if you did not get that newsletter, be sure to go to AngelaWolf.com. And if you wait there about five to 10 seconds, my face will pop up and you can sign up for the newsletter. If you're already signed up, it will uh, tell you that. And if you're not, then you can sign up. So hi, Marion. Hi, Rosemary. Great to see you girls. So, oops, I forgot to turn my stuff on mute. Sorry. I'm so upset. Guess what I lost? Good morning, Janet, Kathy. I can't find my squirrel. My little, I have two squirrels that go on the edge of my cup and I can't find them anywhere. I don't know, I'm gonna have to go dig in the dishwasher. At my office, I have a little dishwasher just for cups, but um, I don't know if I accidentally put it in the dish. I'm so upset. I might have to Google squirrels on a cup so I can get, <laughs> I need to buy some more of these. They were a wonderful gift, but I can't find them. So I'll keep searching. I found my tea. I found my thread cutters. I found everything on my desk except for my squirrels. So I guess I'm just going to have to suck it up and drink my tea like everybody else. I'll put it on my little wolf pack thing here. Thank you, Janet. But I can't find my squirrels. Oh, well. And yes, I banged my finger. I can't believe it. I was doing so well. I ran into so many of you recently. Puyallup, Atlanta, the airport. Oh, my gosh. I was actually, someone asked me, where have you been the last month? And I, I couldn't even think of all the places because it's been like a whirlwind. But it's so nice to be home. <laughs> someone said, I think you need to go on vacation. I'm like, uh, being home for a week is like vacation. I actually can go in my studio. This weekend, I'm going to be sewing, doing some fun things. Oh, of course, it's tax week, which is always uh, my least favorite part of, of owning a business or life in general. So anyways, I was going through my suitcase and I banged my finger again. So starting over, starting over, it'll get better. So hey, guys, I wanted to pop in because I have a whole bunch of, oh, Marcia is in Palm Beach at Outback Steakhouse. Now, that sounds like fun. Say hi to the gang there. <laughs> That's actually one of the places I love to eat when I'm traveling. So I saw a ton of things that you guys were working on. I'm gonna see if I can open them here. I've got photos in the group. We're gonna do a giveaway. Somebody, or I should say a few of you are going to win a free month to Fashion Sewing Club. And I've got a lot of things rolling in the studio. Wynn helped me do all of, put all my boxes away with all the new stabilizer. The thread cutters are here. The embroidery design is on pre-order on the website, and so is the software that is the dime software if you want to really expand my embroidery designs. All of it's on the website except for this. Thread cutters are going on tonight. But that was a lot of work. <laughs> I got it all up. The photos are sideways, so just like turn your head or turn your computer, I'll fix them this weekend. I just wanted to get them up. And if you got the newsletter, you got a discount code. But a double and is if you're in the Fashion Sewing Club, go into the Fashion Sewing Club. And on the left-hand side, under the sales and deals area, there's a new section called Flash Sale. And that's going to be for the things that are instantly for like a week or two weeks. So there's a bigger discount in there. So just your tip for the day. So you guys, uh, yesterday, <laughs> Stacy says, good morning. Wait, what did you write here? Good morning from New Zealand. Oh, I'm so sorry. I woke up in the middle of the night last night, which I don't usually do, and flipped on the TV. The saddest thing I've ever heard. So I'm so sorry. I've never been to New Zealand. I hear it's beautiful, but I think that I hope I can be a bright thing to your bad Friday. That was very bad. If you haven't watched the news, it's not so good. <laughs> Celeste says, your new theme song is I've Been Everywhere, Man. <laughs> I've Been Everywhere, Man. I like that. <laughs> oh, the dress behind me. Yes, for those of you that did not see the fashion show. So here, here you go. 
Thank you, Susie and Janet for the photos and Liz helped take photos at the Puyallup show. I know, I don't even wanna talk about it. You guys are gonna ask me, how did you not get photos in the Puyallup? I have no idea. Like the guy is standing there with the big video camera. You don't think you'd have to ask him if he's recording. So we're just not gonna go there. It was a great fashion show though. The sewing, the sew expo there, the sti sew and stitchery expo is amazing. I'm calling it the Super Bowl of sewing events. But this was here in Atlanta and this dress is going back to brother because this is brother's dress. They let me borrow it for my fashion show, but I thought I'd share the photo with you. Uh, the models in Atlanta were great. The models in Puyallup were great. Let's see if I can make it a little bigger here for you. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. Beautiful dress. She did such a nice job on that too. Here's another one. This was a dress I did for brother quite a few years ago. This one is the one that's needle felted. I've talked about this before. Oh my gosh, needle felting on Silk Dupioni is so much fun. There's my invisible tattoos. This design here is built into the dream machine. Yeah, just a hint there for you guys. There's the dress. Now I have to laugh because on me, that, that dress goes like to the knee. These girls are a little bit taller than I am, which is why they look fabulous. This is the lace I made for brother last year for, let's see, this was for something with the dream machine too. This is a dress that I draped and you can, you cannot see the seams on this, but the zipper actually starts here and wraps around the front of the body. All of the seams, if you watch my mouse, is going like this. I'm talking about my mouse on the computer, not a mouse in my studio. Although guess what I killed today? Holy moly, I'm walking into the back office area and there's something hanging from the ceiling. Like, I have really tall ceilings too. Well, he's dead. I absolutely hate spiders. In fact, I was on the phone <laughs> with someone and, <laughs> oh gosh, he probably thinks I'm completely crazy, but I'm like, hold on a minute. I grabbed this calendar that I had there and I like hit this spider that was like this big probably like that big, but I smashed him to death. Like, and then some. And then in case he woke up, I smashed him like four more times. Absolutely hate spiders. Yeah, so anyways, some more knits. If you haven't seen how to make this skirt, I did that on It's So Easy TV. There's the lace designs. Very fun. And there's the Linda tunic. You've seen these jeans before. These were all for brother. Rosemary, I just saw your comment. You know you're going to get a thousand squirrels now. I hope so. I need some because I need the squirrels with my tea. And now I'm going to get mice and spiders too. Don't do it. <laughs> this is that skirt that I was showing you guys that I have quilted on top. That's like a sheer cover. And then the bottom is yellow linen. This is my scan and cut dress. You girls did a great job on these photos. Thanks. My Kate skirt and my Delilah. Some more lace, fringe skirt. I love the fringe skirts. I was thinking, you know, I probably need to make myself another fringe skirt here soon because I have a few cut out from last year, but I got so busy with the new building and, you know, just running around. So I only have two more trips until fall. I purposely do not plan any trips in the summer because I do a lot of projects for brother during the summer. I have to go fishing on our tournaments and that's when I get a lot of other things done around here. So fingers crossed that goes well. I'm watching. I can see you guys. Let me read your comments real quick. Hey, we got New England. Derby England in the house. Hi, Maureen. Hi, Leslie. Nice to see you. I uh, didn't get a newsletter. Okay, the newsletter went out on Wednesday, right after I couldn't log in for Facebook Live. So if you did not get a newsletter, go to AngelaWolf.com and make sure your email address is in there. And what I'll do is in the group, I will post the newsletter in the Angela Wolf Patterns group, which is free. Most of you are members. If you're not, go in there and I'll post the newsletter in there because there's a really good discount for all this new stuff coming out. When will I have no show mesh? Hey, Janet, I'm not sure it was back ordered. 
got my little sheet right here. It was back ordered and it doesn't say when it's coming. So it should be soon though. So I will let you know. That's, I love that stuff. I have four more kinds coming. Two for knit fabrics, for double stretch, like uh, for sportswear. Um, Performance Pro, I think it's called. That's for like golf shirts, like wind fishing shirts, things like that. So right now what I have for the stabilizer is adhesive sew and wash. And I have this shorter roll like this, which is 12 by 10, 12 inches by 10 yards. And I also have this monstrous one. Of course, I bought these monstrous ones because I'm using the Luminaire and the Dream Machine. So this is 20 inch by 10 yards. So that's a pretty big one. The adhesives are always more expensive, don't forget, though, because it's the paper. You pull it back. I use that for a lot of my, um, and they wash away. But I use them when I did that lace thing that I was showing you with the yarn. I think it's over there somewhere. I'll bring it next week. But if you have the sticky, I can put yarn everywhere and then use my topper on the top and embroider. So the water soluble topping, I've got two sizes. I have received two sizes. This is the smaller one. This is the resealable uh, tubes I was telling you about. So this is only on three of the stabilizers though. The topping and then the mesh wash away that's a smaller one. Well, it's called sew and wash, same thing. So this is also the longer tube because this will work perfect for my bigger hoops. And then I have a shorter one that's in one of these tubes. And um, I think there's one more, a sticky back tearaway, which I use for jeans or DIY projects. I love sticky back stuff for something quick when I'm doing blog posts. So here is, let me just see if I'll bring this up for you. Here's the full selection. Oops, wrong one. There you go. Put this back. Can you see that okay? So this is the full selection. A quick photo. These three are in what we call resealable tubes. This adhesive sew and wash, it was on the website that it wasn't a tube, but it's too heavy. And Deborah was telling me that when they ship that the tubes were breaking. So now it's just in saran wrap. But if you haven't, if you buy two of those sew and wash that are in the tube, I think this will fit right in there. I'll double check. But the tubes are resealable. So this one does not come in one. So if you have questions, you can always email me and I'll fill you in. Hey, Joanne, how are you? Nice to see you. <laughs> I am bent to destruct that poor finger. I know. Popping in while you're baking soda bread for St. Pat's Day. Hey, nice. Perfect. I have my scarf ready for St. Pat's Day. I always forget. Is it Monday? Hmm. Monday is my mother's birthday, I think. The 18th. St. Pat's Day on the... Oh, my goodness. I should know that by heart. <laughs> That's terrible. All right. Somebody wants to know, how do you get the newsletter? You go to... Type it in. This is really easy. AngelaWolf.com. And if you sit there for just like 20 seconds, maybe, maybe not even that long, my face pops up and it says sign up for the newsletter. I will post the newsletter from yesterday, though, in the group. Okay? So just in case you didn't get it, then you'll have the coupon codes. And again, if you're in the Fashion Sewing Club, then you will uh, also, you could pop in there. Hey, Susie, thank you for the photos, by the way. They were the best. Have a good day. I see she's rolling out of here. Thank you, thank you, guys. All right. Did you sew the flowers on the dress or put them on after sewing? That's a good question. So here's the gown. This is rows, rows and rows, yards and yards of fabric underneath. A, a light stretch, light stretch. I don't even know what the exact content was. It was kind of a mix, but I felt it and that's why I bought it. I mean, so it, it has like a little bit of everything in it, but it has a little bit of weight to it that helps it to drape. This is all tool that you've seen me use many times. So the skirt, this is actually embroidered right on the tool. It's very wrinkled because it just came out of my suitcase. But what that means is if I screwed this up, I would be in trouble because these are all embroidered right onto the tool. 
So for the sleeves, I embroidered right onto the tool. Then I cut the sleeve out. These are all built-in designs on the Brother Luminaire. Yes, so if you have that machine, they're right in there. This was one big design, this big V, which I absolutely loved. And the sides here, this here was another design, this big one here. And then what I did is, if you see underneath, you see how I can put my hand underneath here? I actually cut around the design after I embroidered it because I wanted it to go down onto the skirt, but it won't fit into the, there's a waistband right there. So everything was embroidered as I made the outfit. Or I should say, I embroidered on the tool and then wrapped it around the bust to fit it, draped it. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Melody. Hey, Liz. Thank you again, Liz, for taking your photo. She took some photos and video as well in the Puyallup show. So the Puyallup show was just a huge event. I think there were close to 800 people. That's a lot. And so when I walked out on the stage, you look to the right and the left, and there was about under 400, just under 400. A lot. The stage was amazing. The models were terrific. Those girls did a good job. And I'm not going to tell you which one, but one of those girls had never done a runway show in her life. And she was fantastic. So if you missed that, <laughs> well, I'm sorry that I don't have video. Someone said, well, you're going to just have to do another show. I said, I'll do more shows, but I don't know if we could beat that one. Joe had Daniela there with Dancing with the Stars. We had her outfits. But, you know, I'm a little jealous. And, Daniela, if you're watching this, Joe, if you're watching this, I'm just going to let you know. I had to ship in two huge boxes of garments. I also had to haul three suitcases to the event. Now, one was for my room, for me. But the other two were all of the outfits for the fashion show. So two huge boxes that I had to ship plus two suitcases, plus I had to ship a bunch of other things, but just for the fashion show. Daniela shows up with her her outfits for Dancing with the Star. Ten, ten outfits, okay, ten. For me, ten outfits would be at least two big boxes because I've got the gowns or the jackets or all, well, her ten outfits, to make a long story short, fit into a bag about this big. <laughs> Okay, I'm so exaggerating, but it was a small bag that it came in, all right? <laughs> so I'm just saying that she could travel with this cute little bag and all of her outfits were in there. So I think I need to downsize my outfits or <laughs> I need to start designing for Dancing with the Stars with you because uh, I was a little jealous about your luggage. Let's just go with that. <laughs> Very fun. Okay. I'm, oh, you guys are hilarious. Teresa says, it seems that anyone who absolutely hates spiders seems to attract them. Ask my daughter. <laughs> it's so true. My mom said she posted something today. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, she said she posted something on my page. She always shares these spider things. So then if I go on my own Facebook page, I have to click it off because I hate spiders. Even a friend of mine had, uh, is there like a new brand called Spider? He had a big logo right here. But the big spider, I'm like, oh, huh? it was a really good looking shirt too. How, what a shame. <laughs> it's never coming in our house ever. Okay, let me see if I can find it. And I'll share it because this was kind of funny. Had something to do with quilting thread. And here you go. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Did you guys see this? Thank you, Thor. The spider's dead now. <laughs> I think that's like a big thing of lightning. <laughs> Super funny. And here's the other one. I thought there was a spider on the floor, but it was only thread. <laughs> it's dead thread now, though. <laughs> that is so... Mom, you're so right. That is hilarious. And so true. You know what the worst part of boating is the spiders are like monstrous. They're black. They look hairy. They hang under the docks. Anyone who's been around our boat knows that I put wind on spider patrol every morning because that's when they're out because we leave the dock when it's dark. And usually he can go out there with a flashlight and he throws them all into the water. 
So I said, well, that doesn't do any good. They're going to come back out. But then he said, no, the fish will eat them. And you know what? I've seen it. The fish actually eat them. So there you go. All right. I was impressed with how many outfits you had in the show. Just got to watch the video, but it was really inspiring. Oh, thanks so much. And actually, the show in Atlanta was only half of the outfits. So I don't know which video you watched, if it was Atlanta or the other. Hey, Lynn, you're going to be at San Diego. Wonderful. Okay, so you guys were asking me, by the way. Um, <laughs> I'm reading your comments about the spiders. You guys asked me about the events that I have coming up. Now, I did update the website because I didn't realize that that was off a little bit. So there's only a handful more for the rest of the year. And I know that it's only March, but I've already closed the book for 2020. I mean, 2019, and I'm booking into 2020. So if and I don't always go to the same events every year. So I know some of you will say, well, I'll see you there next year. I can't guarantee that I'm going to be there next year because I try to move things around a little bit. So what do we have left? Denver, Colorado. Well, first it's Cleveland in a couple weeks. I think it's two weeks. Hold on, I'll open the calendar. Well, if you go to AngelaWolf.com, at the top is events. Go to events. So I can't remember if I'm home for two or three weeks, but Cleveland with the original sewing and quilt expo is first. I get home and two days later to Denver for the Rocky Mountain event, which is going to be very fun. So it's two days of hands-on classes where you rotate. Lewis Carney's going to be teaching there, myself, and I didn't see who else they had there, but I think there was an embroidery stabilizer tutorial, things like that. They're going to be making this really cute bag in my class. So you'll get to hang out with me for a total of three hours plus at lunchtime for the two-day event. But then they added an event on Saturday, which is a lecture demo, which is an all-day event. This is like similar to what I do for the sewing guilds when I travel to those, where I bring my garments, we talk about them, you get to see them, you learn a lot of information. Those of you that were in Florida, I did this in Palm Beach, it was a great event. So that's on that Saturday. Then when I get home, as far as I know, I am not traveling until September. I have an event in Florida, which I will let you know the date. We haven't, I haven't talked to her yet at Ruthie's in Florida. And then October is San Diego and San Marcos. I think it's St. How do you guys, San, San Marco. Is that it? <laughs> I want to make sure I'm saying it right. San Diego, I love, I know. San Marco, I can't remember. It's around there somewhere, but it's soymachinesplus.com. Two-day event at each place. You can sign up for one day or both days or all four. Although if you had all four, that would kind of be like Groundhog Day because I'm doing the same event at each location. And then last, the last event of the year that I know about at this time is Houston Quilt Fest with All Brands. Some of you had asked me about that and said you wanted to book your flight. So you can book the flights. I talked to All Brands and we're all good to go. So. Hey, Michelle, great to see you. By the way, I'm scanning your comments. Your house is under construction and it's been a wild ride. Well, that means no sewing for you, but I'll bet you have spiders because whenever they do construction, they're spiders. Julie is in from Idaho. Where can I find the Fusionit interfacing you mentioned in Puyallup? Hey, Julie, there's a few different places. I go, if you go to Vogue Fabric, VogueFabricsStore.com. Julie, are you in the club, the fashion sewing club? Because Vogue Fabrics generously gave us a coupon code in there. So... Oakfabricstore.com, you can buy a whole bolt of it for not very expensive, or you can buy it in the yardage. I will be carrying that, but I don't have it quite yet. I'm trying to, I've got the stabilizer down, the embroidery designs. I have some new thread for surging coming down the pike um, in May or June. I'm not sure the exact date of that launch. And then the new interfacings. So very busy. Wind's going to be busy cutting back there. We'll just say that. Hey, Robin, great to see you. Uh, that yarn technique is so much fun. Okay, I'll go get my scarf. Hold on a second. Hold on, because I'm finishing the blog post for this. Here you go. Here it is. I screwed up, though, because there's a hole in it somewhere. But this is how my yarn scarf turned out. Isn't it super fun? Now, I'm going to be wearing this next week, probably, because it's St. Patrick's Day coming up. And, but this is how, and I think that this yarn project for a whole piece of fabric for like a vest or something like that would be amazing. 
So now that I can get the super long piece of sticky back stabilizer, then I can take a whole bunch of yarn, stick it to the stabilizer how I want to, and we're good to go. Yeah, very easy, easy peasy. All right, so let's see, let's do some show and tell. And then we're going to do some drawings, and I'll tell you what's coming up. Oh, thanks, guys. It's the 17th. Well, wait a minute. Somebody said it's the 17th, and someone else said it's the 19th. Oh, then, okay, it's the 17th. Okay, I feel better. Because I always think of my mom's birthday, which is the 18th, and so I always think of that as St. Patrick's Day. But no, 17th is St. Patrick's Day. My mother's birthday is the day after. Susan said, I never knew about logging off and back in. Are you talking about for Facebook? That's a pain. Or the computer, actually. Sometimes I have to restart my computer. Oh, Jane says she is from Pennsylvania making pillowcases for kids in a shelter. Now, that's very cool. Very cool. Speaking of pillowcases, oh, it's at home in the wash. I'll bring it back to you. I got a great gift while I was in Puyallup. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> It's a minky. It's a super soft pillow case with minky on it. Now that's soft. And if I left that in a hotel room, I'd be almost upset as upset about my squirrels, not on my tea. You know what I mean? Hey, Judy, well, I'm glad you can listen. You know, you just never know about the internet these days. So I try to talk slow and describe what I'm talking about. So I'll give you a good visual since you can't see it. How many hours did it take to make that dress? Little wants to know. Oh, gosh. I don't recall the exact number, but I can tell you for two weeks straight, I actually came to the office early. This is, I worked on this at my old studio, not this studio that I have now, my new building. So I would go to work in the morning early, like 6.30 or 7, start embroidering, at night, when I finished working at about 7, 7.30, draping, I was embroidering on two different machines, I think, or three to, to keep up with everything. And then, let's see. Yeah, so for two weeks straight, I'd actually carry the dream machine home with me at night so I could keep embroidering for a little bit longer, one more design, because all of these were done on a one-needle machine. These? which that takes a while and you have to keep changing the thread. I also use the 10 needle and the six needle a little bit, but some of the designs are so big and I just wanted, I had to check the placement and things like that. So for me, I just found it just as easy to use the dream machine on that. So a lot of hours, two weeks straight. I was pretty tired by the time it ended and I was really glad that it turned out okay. Great to see you, Glenda. Not much material there, <laughs> Susan said. Yeah, you're so right <laughs> on those outfits. <laughs> Debbie says hers probably fit into a sandwich baggie. <laughs> no, it was a little bigger than that, but not much. So, Daniela, you were very lucky. You don't, <laughs> you wouldn't have to worry about your finger carrying luggage around, right? Paula says hi from the UK. Celeste says her picture is good. So whoever has poor internet today, sorry. So speaking of speaking of poor internet, yesterday, not to talk about weather, but it was about 70 degrees here. And all of a sudden, it started raining. And if you're on my Instagram, go to my Instagram, because I think the story might still be up there unless, let me see if it's still up there before I, I can maybe bring it up here and show you. It started hailing, hailing so loud that <laughs> I actually took a video of it. They were about the size, oh gosh, not quite of golf balls, but it was big. So let me see. Oh yeah, here you go. I'll bring it up here. Hold on a second. Figure out what button. If you're not on Instagram, by the way, you can join me there. My hashtag is Angela Wolf Fashion. So. There's the pictures of the day. So here is the one. Look at the hail. Is that crazy or what? Yeah. I mean, it was raining hail. The whole yard filled, turned white from the hail. And then we have skylights 
above like in our family room like on a diagonal and I, my i was sitting in the corner at my desk and I, I was kind of afraid that they were gonna actually break through so i went to a different area of, of the house i mean it was really weird i've never had hail that big and my car was in the garage thankfully okay i see a few more comments here about spiders hey gabby are you on here karen says hey gabby are you okay it's Gabby. I have not seen Gabby in so long. So great to see you. Hey, there you are. How are you, Gabby? We missed you. I heard that you were thinking of coming to Atlanta last week. So we're sorry that we missed you. A Doherty says to come to Denmark. That would be fun. That would be a lot of fun. And Debbie says, I hope you make it to Florida again next year. I do too. Palm Beach was a very good time. We've got a few people here from New Zealand. Hey guys. And Angela, yes, you're coming to Houston. Wonderful. All right, so let me give you a little bit of your show and tells because what you guys put together for the last two weeks was amazing. So I kind of went through the Facebook group so I could kind of skip ahead to the parts that I thought that you would like. All right. Susan Fisher, you're up first. This skirt, I love this fabric. I love this fabric. I like the way you did the lining. So this must be, is this the Kate skirt? And then you did the facing for your lining. I love that. And this is the, this is what you were asking about in the fashion sewing club about the slit in the back. So I'm definitely gonna have to come up for a tutorial on that, but I absolutely love that fabric. Very cute. All right, and then we had Debbie. And Debbie, I, at first I was scrolling through and I'm like, hey, you got that uh, fabric from me. Yes, I shipped it out to you. So that is like a sportswear knit and you're gonna love it. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you think of it. But she wanted to know, cause in Puyallup when I talked about knits, I was telling how I sewed my sleeve in. And she wanted to know, do you sew the sleeve from the bottom or the top? She has it pinned in place. I actually have my sleeve on the bottom so the feed dogs, so I, I have my garment on the top, sleeve on the bottom. So as I'm turning, see if I can do this right. As I'm turning the sleeve, so you have your, you know, your whole sleeve that's kind of shaped like this. I turn it with my hands, the sleeves on the bottom for the feed dogs to kind of help feed that through. And also, right when I get to this section here, if I notice that there's puckering or too much fabric, I can just slide the sleeve out just a little bit, just a hair and then stitch, and then there will be no puckers here. That was a very brief version of a 45 minute class in Puyallup. But I love your top there. I love the color. I can't wait to see it when it's finished. So let's see what else do we have in here. Oh, this was super cute. Sharon, is this your, I don't know if it's her daughter or her granddaughter, but she is, she wins the cuteness award of the week because she is a adorable oh my gosh i am just picturing my sister's twin girls all over the sewing machines <laughs> but i have to tell you i left a comment let me see if you answered it <laughs> she didn't yet okay sharon i don't know if you know this but your little girl there might have been playing with your serger thread because if you look closely at the serger the thread rack there it looks like it might have been twisted a few times. And if you go to surge on that, you might have a nightmare on your hands. So I just wanted to give you a warning if you didn't notice that yet. <laughs> so I know I noticed the oddest things and your and your floor is way too clean for a sewing room, right? <laughs> I agree. And Helen, thank you. Helen says she's definitely sewing the bootcut jeans after she saw them in the fashion show. So a quick tip about the bootcut jean. Oops, you guys can't see that. I'll bring this up here. Quick, quick thing about the bootcut jeans, uh, my booklets, I didn't realize it was out, so I have to reorder, but I have to make a few edits to it. So the bootcut jeans right now are available in PDF, but the books are gonna still be about two weeks out. So they'll probably be here the same time as the Linda tunic pattern coming out. I'll keep you posted, but if you need the paper pattern and don't care about the booklet, you can just email me. Okie doke. All right, what else do we have in here? Amy Louise had a pretty lace. She was working on something with lace. This wasn't one of my patterns, but I left it up here because of the lace that we were talking about. It's very pretty. 
This is what she did to the back. Let's see if I can get up. Isn't that cool? So it's like an insert in the back. Very fun. I love all your white cabinets, Amy. And I love this sleeve. So many inspirational ideas. There we go. More lace. Very fun. And then Sandy posted this and I had to laugh. <laughs> the best tattoo ever. If you can't see that, that is a yardstick or a measuring tape on the guy's leg. Yeah. Very funny. Okay, there was a few more in here. Melody had a friend helping her sew. And I, my husband saw this and he laughed right out loud because Tyler, our cat, used to sit on the back of the sewing machine and he would hang his paws over the sewing machine and watch me sew. Really bad, right? And I would always think he's going to hit the needle, but he wouldn't. I think he liked the warmth from the sewing machine. So I'm sewing like this and he's on the other side and he would just hang there. And so I'd have to try to like sew around him. <laughs> I finally got him to move that way. So then he would hang there like this and I could sew this way, but it was very awkward. Now that was a cool cat, but this was very cute. So your cat, by the way, I don't think this is yours. I think you shared it. I don't know. Maybe. Is this your cat, Melody? Because I was laughing when I saw it working up, like with his paws on the hoop. Photoshopped? I don't know. That's the question. Okay, this was a good tip from Amy Louise. She says that she uses hair ties for her button closures. Great idea. I have seen that before. And I always forget of mentioning that. So thank you for that. Because what? that's just such a great tip. All right, let's see. What else do we have? fashion show here's one this is diane's delilah top this turned out very cute this fabric is great she purchased the material at joanne stores two yards of material for seven dollars super sale and this is her delilah top and she's still she's going to ruch the hip area that's a great buy seven bucks yeah i know some of you said tell joanne's that you want to have an Angela Wolf section. I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'll keep working on it. And here we have Pam finished her scarf. I love the colors in this. Let me see if I can make this bigger. So Pam, I have to ask you, is that gold embroidery thread? Cause I'm like, this is like one of those things that if you keep looking at it, you're like, what am I looking at? I see a flower. I see leaves. So I'm guessing that you chose embroidery designs and the gold is embroidery thread. And underneath of that is your yarn. But I don't want to say if I'm incorrect. But see, now you can really see it. Now, I know somebody's going to say, no, I see Santa. <laughs> but I see flowers and then I see ivy and then I see leaves. Very cool, by the way. Very cool. Another yarn project. And I think there was one more. Oh, yeah. I love it when you guys share these. Wanda posted a photo of all of her buys in Atlanta and her clapper. Thank you, Wanda. She'll be getting her the embroidery collection here soon. She's the one that won that last time, in case you guys forgot. And what else do we have? Oh, Robin's here. Thank you, Robin. And then she also got a book for, was it Rose or Rosa? It was a really cool name. A young designer in her area, which is very cool. I always love inspiring the young designers. And I think that was it for, if you, you can scroll through the group, there's more photos up here. Oh, I see Liz's video. Okay, so here's just a few more in case you missed these. This was at the Atlanta show. Now, this young lady here I met, she was in one of my classes and then it turned out Cindy and I were sitting uh, talking and she was in our hotel lobby. So we got to visit for a long time. She came all the way from California. So I told her I'm going to California in October and she was very excited. Karen, great top. We were talking about her top. It looked very cute. And somebody was, a few people are asking questions on ruching. How could they, if they, if the bottom of their top sticks out or their sleeves are sticking out, always leave a few, like, I usually leave three to four inches at each hemline. So that way when you tuck your hem up, there's no bulk. 
just an idea there. I love this. She <laughs> she whipped this up so fast right after I showed this. Was this like two weeks ago? Yeah, you must have made this that afternoon. Unbelievable. Super cute, Janet. Love it. And these were the two models. So I had to share this photo because I think I'm tall. Now I'm wearing flats there, but they are too. <laughs> I These two girls were beautiful and I felt this tall. 5'7 is not tall anymore. I'm just going to say. Okay, this jacket here. So I was in the Brother booth for a while and this lady made her... Every day she had a garment that she made. This jacket I absolutely love. I wonder if I shared the photos. Check this out. And her pockets are on the bias. Super cute. The pants were gorgeous, like had a light pinstripe. The pockets are on the bias. And her jacket, I love the fabric. So just beautiful. Very beautiful. And here's our crew. <laughs> All my brother people that I love working with. So very fun. I have a ton more pictures, so in case you're like, where's the picture of us? I Now that I'm home, I've been going through my phone and deleting ones that were fuzzy because there was a lot of those, unfortunately. And then every day, I'm just going to upload a few more. So you're going to get to see photos from the last four or five events for the entire summer <laughs> because I didn't want to post them all on one day or then you miss them. All right, so let me go into Facebook and we should do our drawing. And unless I'm forgetting something, Next week, I'm going to show you how to do the shawl I was talking about. I have a meeting coming up, so I couldn't, I had to make sure that I was out of here. I was only hanging out with you guys for like an hour or less. Susan says, so you were embroidering almost 18 hours a day on three machines. Yeah, pretty much. That is exactly what happened. So the other thing is I also made a few other outfits with that one. There were a few different samples, but this one in particular because i had to test each embroidery design first check the colors to see if i like the colors because i had to keep with the color scheme that brother wanted so first you test it and then you test it again so that's like two days of embroidery and then once you start embroidering you got to keep rolling so yeah that's basically what happened there and then also, there were a few other outfits that I was working on that had to be embroidered, so I might have mingled that in with that time. So, kind of all the same. <laughs> a lot of embroidery. So, you don't do sleepovers to embroider, <laughs> Jane. I try not to. <laughs> I really try hard not to. Hi, Jane. <laughs> oh, did you hem the sleeves and skirt? Did you hem the sleeves and skirt? Okay, so, Aletta. This is raw, raw edge here, because it won't. Let's see, French seams for the seam, and the edge is raw. For the skirt, this is hemmed with a rolled hem, a very narrow rolled hem. And let's see if I can bring this a little closer. I'll take photos of this and bring it so you guys can see this, but this is an itsy bitsy bitsy rolled hem, like an eighth of an inch. That was a challenge. Then under here, this is the lining. Gotta make sure I don't dump the dress form over. This is also a one eighth of an inch hem. I will take photos of that. And then the tool, you do not hem. I could have used a rolled hem on the tool if I wanted to, but I did not do that. So good question there. I see some of you. Oh, Marcy said she had hail too. Yeah, I agree. Better check your roof for hail damage. Well, we actually did have some other damage though. So from the day before, we had like 90 mile an hour winds. Not as much damage as some people down south did though. So no complaining. Lynn says she had golf ball hail a few years ago and broke your skylight. Oh, don't tell me that. That would be just dreadful. That really would, that would just be awful. Someone says, come to New Zealand. I would love to, Jane, and Louisiana. So if you guys have brother dealers there, you could always ask them if they're doing an event and tell them that they should invite me. How about doing a sewing cruise? Okay, Betsy, the sewing cruise. I, I'm laughing right now, out loud. Reen, are you on here? Because Reen did this cruise. And if you guys didn't hear me, if you already heard me say this, you can just plug your ears for a minute. It's like but I have to just, in case you missed this, Reen did a cruise 
sold out immediately, which of course it would. She's fabulous. So <laughs> she said, why don't you do a, ever do a cruise? And I said, I I'm not doing a cruise. All I could picture is like a hundred people in the basement sewing and throwing up because it was rough. And everybody, I saw the pictures. They had a great time. It was beautiful weather. Did you guys watch the news like a week later? That cruise ship out of New York hit like a hundred. Oh gosh, I don't want to exaggerate, but I could have sworn it said it was like 150 mile an hour winds or something. I don't know how big the waves were, but all the furniture was tipped over. People were sick. They got all. I, I don't mean to be callous here, and I'm not making fun at all, because that to me would be worse than being in a room with spiders. Yeah, maybe not. I could handle the rough weather, but <laughs> I'm just saying I could just picture that. So I'm listening to that from the other room in the morning. We're having coffee and I start laughing and Wynn says, what are you laughing about? And I said, that's what I was talking about. That's what would happen to me if I was on a cruise, because I would tell everyone it's going to be gorgeous. I love being on the ocean, which I do. And then we would be the ones that hit the 150 mile an hour winds and the whole boat tips over and everybody's sewing machine is on their lap. And we have a like 25 broken luminaires. That's what would happen. So I'm not going on a cruise, not for sewing. No, but I will meet you at shore. I will go to any event on the beach or in a beach house or anything like that. But I want to be on land when it comes to sewing. Everything else is fine. Plus, if I was on the boat, I would want to be sitting out back with a fishing rod. So that would be me. So Susan says, yes, the Kate skirt with the facing and the lining. Thank you. You are so welcome. San Pedro. Could even do a river boat cruise. Okay, river boat cruise, I would do that, Lita, because that is like in a contained area and you probably would not experience like 20 or 30 foot seas. That I could handle. I agree. So Trudy says, love your skirt too, Susan. Anne says she got the cake pattern in Atlanta and it's a classic style she wore in 1967. Okay, Anne, I met you in Atlanta, I think, and you did not look like you'd be wearing the Kate skirt in 1967. You look way too young for that. <laughs> All right, so let's, where are the lace designs? Okay, let me bring these up and then I'm gonna do the giveaway. So if you go to, here's my website, angelawolfpatterns.com. You could also go to Angela Wolf and go on shop, but this is angelawolfpatterns.com, that's the website. And once you're here, if you look up in this section here, there's a new whole section called embroidery. When you click on that, there are three different areas. Stabilizer, here's all the stabilizer. And yes, some of them are sideways. I'll fix it, but at least you'll get the idea. That's all the stabilizers. And let's see. Then we have under embroidery software. This is the package from Dime that you do not have to have for my collection, but it, this is the software if you want to take my collection plus their 1100 designs and make your own lace. So there's more description on that coming soon, but that is, here you go. That's my lace maker. So that's a software. So that's totally different. And I will have more pictures and details on that. But that's if you are a software person that you like to take the designs in and make more. So you could take my collection of 73 designs and add it in there. You can add a backdrop. I'll have a whole bunch of tutorials on this stuff later. But for now, I just wanted to make sure I got this up so you guys could get into the pre-order and not have to wait when they come out. And then the last section is the embroidery designs. And here you go. So this is what is in my collection. Let's see if I can bring these photos up. So you've seen these, you've seen a lot of these already, but these are the collect, this is the actual collection of the designs. So you, if you go to my, on this website, you can put your mouse over it and it makes them larger. So you can see there's one large design. Here you go. And then it's broken into also two smaller designs in case you only have this is the only d design that does not fit in a five by seven hoop. And so I had them 
break it up into two as well. So if you only have a five by seven hoop, you can do all of the larger designs. All of these smaller designs is everything that is built into this design here, this real big one. So there's the big design, that one's broken into two designs if you have a five by seven hoop and then you have all of these individual little guys here. This is the, let's see if I can make this a little bigger. Oh, that one doesn't want to go bigger. I'll work on that. <laughs> so this is the design that you saw at the bottom of that one top. And this is the scalloped edges. Of course, you can pick any colors that you want. These are just colors I threw in there. This one's a little bit different. In the actual collection, uh, these are not these colors. I used some pink and mauve. I think mauve was the main color in there. And every design is also included in a solid color. So these are all pieces that I would use for border trims where you can piece them together. So if you go to the website, you can see all of those designs. But there's a few different things. Number one, all of the designs are included in one big piece and then all the little ones. So if you're the one that, if you want that lace software, you can take all my little designs and make your own piece of lace. You can add backing to it so you could do freestanding lace or you can embroider it on tool like I do quite frequently. Either or is fine. All of the designs that's not included in the 73 designs is that there's also solid colors. So those of you that don't want to have to keep stopping your one needle machine, that's in there. And then that, the only difference there, yeah, that's it. It's just one color. Those are not included in the 73 though. Otherwise it would be 140 six designs but technically it's the same designs as the first 73 so i didn't count those for that so that's about it for the lace and i will have tutorials on that showing you how to use the various stabilizers but i was just happy to finally get everything and i can put it on the website so that's that and there's low density designs and there's high not high density but there's low like a really low density designs for many of these and that way if you're using like a silk chiffon or something that you want it just to drape it won't be, the embroidery won't be too stiff. So I hope that helps. Thanks for asking that. Uh, Chris wants to know, in Cleveland, are you going to be on the floor or just in the classroom? Can't wait. Both, Chris. I'm going to be teaching for two days. Friday and Saturday are my classes. And in between classes, I'm at the booth. And Friday, we have a fashion show at noon. So I hope that helps. <laughs> Debbie says she's ground level 5'2". That's hilarious. I get, a lot of you are 5'2". Okay, so my 5'7 isn't so bad then, right? Look at what I just posted. It's about your stabilizers. Okay, Debbie, I don't see it. Where did you post it? Look what I just posted about your stabilizers, Trudy. I see a lot of your comments in here, Trudy, but I don't see... You want to ask it again, feel free. Or I'll go back through the questions this evening like I normally do. I'm just scrolling real quick to make sure. Trudy, Trudy. I see a lot of your comments in here, but I don't see anything about stabilizer. So I love your skirt too. I see that. I saw Winnell asked where the lace designs. Hi, Carrie. Great to see you, by the way. Did you see the tattoo of fishing ruler? I did, Lynn, I just showed that one. Did you see that? That was hilarious. If your lace wrinkles, how do you iron it? Here's a good idea. That's a great question, Arnell. So while I'm looking for Trudy's question, I will keep rolling through these. Arnell, if your lace wrinkles, I lay it out, I use a little bit of steam with my iron, give it a little steam, and then use your Taylor's clapper to hold it flat, but usually just steam and you're good to go. I press right on it. I mean, I have no problems with that. But I also have an iron shoe on my iron. So Trudy says, hey, ruler would be great for fabric, too. <laughs> She's talking about that, the ruler on the guy's leg. How do we access PDF patterns? You gave me one when I purchased the paper pattern for Rouge too, but I could not find it. Thanks. You should, Sandra, if you order a PDF pattern in my website, it should be showing up there. But there's something I have to click on my end for you to access them. So if you, if I was shipping something to you and then you had the PDF patterns, I have to change the status of your order so you can access the PDF files. 
files. So Sandra, if you think of it, send me an email from your order or send me an email and I'll do that for you. And um, you can always have PDF patterns if you purchase the paper ones. All you have to do is in your order, either, either leave me a note, I'd also like the PDF files, or you can email me and I'll add them in for you. I hope that makes sense. Here's Teresa. Can you give a brief explanation of the LACE software? You said it was from Dime, digitizing program, or just for LACE. So, Teresa, I'm going to do a full tutorial on this, but let me bring up, I think I have it on here. Hold on one sec. This is Eileen uh, that has the this on her website with a lot of details. I don't have all the details on yet, so just one sec, I'll bring it up, because I think you'll find this interesting. For you those you want to see what it does. Let's see. Time and machine embroidery. Do you guys get that magazine? Because she has a lot of really good stuff in there. I, I, I've seen, I recognize a lot of the people who write for it. Okay. I think it would be here. Okay. I'll bring this up so you guys can see that. All right, you ready? Here you go. I'm gonna take your comment down, Teresa, while I'm answering this, just so you can see. So if you go to inspiredbydime.com, okay, this, this is the website, or I'll, I'm allowed to include this on my site too, and she told me just to copy and paste a lot of her things. So let's see if I can bring this up and you can see how this works. Okay, that's not it, here it is. So you can design your own lace with this using the designs that they have. So can you see this okay? Just give me like a heart emoji or something. But so how this works is it already comes, it's software, but it comes with all these other designs. So you've got paisley, flowers, border trims. So it, she even shows you steps on the website of how this will work. You use the built-in library to select the lace elements. So. If you're using my design, you can bring my designs in there or bring, they already have a ton of designs in the software. So notice how she has this whole collection of different designs. All right, just bring in a whole bunch of designs. Then you can fill the empty space with lace. So you can see on here, it's the orange color. Let me see if I can make that just a little bit bigger for you. So here's the designs. She brought them into the center like this. And this is what the grid looks like on the software, it's very user friendly. Then look at, it, it added an outline and the backdrop for lace. That would make a great applique or freestanding lace, either or. She was wearing this sweater, I don't know if she was wearing it while we were live, but this is one that she pieced together. Here's another one. So all of these are made like freestanding lace I use tool quite often on mine, but you don't have to for some of these. Here's some for, I love the neutral color on this. So, and then she goes through a list of everything that's in here. And I have this part on my website too. I just don't have all of the photos. So I'm, a, let's see, I think I can go, here you go, the software. Uh, this is on my site now. When you click on here, it will give you the list of everything, if you look to the right here, of all the designs that are in there and the minimums that your computer needs. So I hope that helps answer that question for you. All right, and I'm just gonna see one more time if I see Trudy's question on here, but if I don't, you'll just have to message me. Oh, you want to know, hey there, what collar do I have on? This collar, I'm wearing the ruche tee. And this is the ruche tee collar, except instead of attaching it, I, I extended each, I pattern hacked it by about three inches and just crossed it over. Pretty easy to do. All right, so if you guys haven't seen this, uh, how did you do that tiny hem? Jane, I will make sure I do a tutorial on that. And also, uh, for those of you that are in the Fashion Sewing Club, don't forget that we had our live Q&A this week. You can go back and watch. 
And if you go back to watch a previous episode, you can scroll through the questions. And if there's just one thing you want to watch, you hit that question, it'll take you ahead to the video. So you don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want to. I thought that this would be really good, especially a year from now when you say, I know this was in a video, you'll be able to go back, look at the questions and skip ahead. Okay, let me get this down, sorry. Bonnie said she did a quilting cruise two weeks before Reens and it was awesome. <laughs> machines, so, so many machines flying everywhere. Yes, I agree. Debbie says she wants to take a cruise that would never leave the dock. I like that. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> oh, yes. A river cruise down the Mississippi. I would definitely do that. Debbie says, my pictures were all over the brother dealer at the Daytona quilt show. Hey, tell them to bring me back next time to invite me there. Well, you could pretend I'm there if my photos are up there, right? <laughs> I thought I took, I thought I took you a little black sewing machine on your boat. I do take a little sewing machine on my boat, Cindy. It's that little one. I either bring the Strong and Tough or the NS80. The NS80 is blue. So I've taken the black one on there, the Strong and Tough. I've also taken the NS80, which is a little bit up than that. It's really tiny, but I'm on the boat by myself, and we're on Lake Michigan on our boat, which is only 36 foot, so we're not going to be out there in 10 foot seas. Maybe four foot seas, but I probably would not bring the sewing machine out in four foot seas. Definitely. Hey, thanks, Rick and Liz. I'm not sure which one of you are on there, but thank you for coming to my show. No fishing on a cruise ship, guys. <laughs> I know. I was just teasing about that. When else says, thank you. I never looked at the top of the website. And thank you, Amy. She says, the designs look gorgeous. You guys are great. Thanks. Well, it's, I'm pretty excited about it. So, yes, I will be at the Rocky Mountain event. I'll see you there, Claudia. And will our pre-sale price be similar price-wise? You know, I don't know. I mean, the price that's on here is the same price that everyone's charging. If you're in the fashion sewing club, there's a discount and the newsletter offered a discount, but the discount was on a total purchase price because there's limits to what I'm allowed to discount the software or the designs. There's usually discounts at every event. So I can tell you that, but I don't know what they'll be charging. So just so you know. Oh, th thanks, Joanne. She says she loves she has to get back to her sewing deadlines. Yeah, we have a few of those going on right now. Can you get instant download on the Facebook page? Hey, Debbie, uh, Facebook, the Facebook store will not let you have downloadable anything, but you're ordering from my store. So as soon as you place an order, if you want the downloadables, you just let me know and I will put those in there. For the embroidery stabilizer, I'm waiting to get more information on the downloads. What I have listed on there is for the CD that's going to be mailed to you and I'll have a separate listing for the download. I'm not sure if the price is different though. I'll keep you posted. Arnell says, thank you. I wanna get your clapper. You're welcome. Don't forget about the discount in the club, Arnell. I wish you would put a link to the Fashion Sewing Club on AngelaWolf.com so I have to remember one website. You know what? I think Janice, I think there is a link on there. I will make sure that there is. Thank you. I thought there was. So I'm so glad you mentioned that. So there will be a link on the front page of AngelaWolf.com and the front page of Fashion Sewing with AngelaWolf.com by the end of the weekend, because I thought there was. I'm so glad you said that. And yes, it would be a pain to remember a whole different website. So thank you for mentioning that. All right, let me just scan the last few of your questions. Do you have a resource for learning what type of stabilizer to use with what fabric type? I do not, Amy, but I am putting something together. So I don't have a resource to send you to, but I will be able to soon. For embroidery, there's a lot of references out there, but for stabilizer for garments, there's not. Wright wants to know, does, clap, does your clapper need to be used with steam? Yes. So the whole thing is that you have steam on the fabric and then you put the tailor's clapper on top. I don't have any right here in front of me or I would grab it. But the steam will embeds into the fabric and then the wood soaks up the steam and it makes a nice crease. I, there's a tutorial if you go to my website 
angelowofpatterns.com. And there's a video in the clapper. Like if you go to the clapper where the clapper's for sale, there's a YouTube video there. That's a good question though. And yes, a lot of people said, well, can you use it on quilting? Oh my gosh. Clappers and cotton love each other. If the clapper works so well on knits, it's even a hundred times better on natural fibers. Like I consider rayon a natural fiber. It's a plant. Technically, there's a few things added to it, but rayon, silk, wool, cotton, those are the best on that. So just so you know. Cindy wants to know if the tool is stretchy. No, itchy. <laughs> Got to pull out my glasses. Is it itchy? No, it's not itchy. It is not itchy at all. Oh, but let's go back to the tool. You have to pick the kind of tool that's not stiff. It has to be soft where it drapes around you. Like if you hold up the tool, you want it to drape. If you hold up the tool and it's like this, like party tool that you're going to put decoration lights on and stuff for a wedding, that's not what you want. You want it to be soft. Oh, Trudy says she didn't ask a question. So I don't know if it was you, Trudy, or somebody else. So, okay, good. Then I'll quit looking. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, let's see. Liz says, I would still like to get the deal on the one-year membership to the club, but had already signed up by the month. Is there a way to switch that? Absolutely, Liz. If any of you signed up for one month and you don't win here, I'm going to get this drawing ready to go because I have a phone call in 15 minutes that I have to get off up here for but um if any of you had ordered for a month and you decide you want for a year just message me i will change your membership and you can still be guaranteed for that 89 dollars. in case you missed it because facebook went down this week i left the annual rate of 89 dollars up for a few more days um i think i have it expiring on sunday at midnight so that way some people who wanted to wait to hear how the club was I wasn't able to talk to you about that on Wednesday. And also they wanted to see if they won the one month. So I'll go ahead and draw some names. But if any of you join for a month and you want to join for a year, just message me. I'll change it for you and you can still have the $89. No problem at all. So that was a good question. Okay, Rob says it was Debbie, someone who asked about the stabilizer posting. I'll go back through whoever asked the question. I'll make sure. Uh, Deborah wants to know, is your fashion sewing club going to focus on embroidery? Well, no, the fashion sewing club is a combination of, well, the main, the best part of the fashion sewing club is every other week is a live Q&A. You can bring any question you want to the party. If it's something I know nothing about, I'll just tell you I know nothing about it. <laughs> but so far, you guys that are in the club, wouldn't you say, I mean, that's the main, the best part. The Fashion Sewing Club is basically a one-stop shop for everything that I do everywhere. The replays, um, videos on YouTube, It's So Easy, blog posts. You can go to one section and find everything. Some of you already joined me on Facebook. Many people are not on Facebook, so now they can watch the episodes on Facebook. So that's what it's for. But the live Q&A that's every other week, that's probably the best part. That's what basically what you're paying for for the software for me to do that and to keep post all of this. There's embroidery questions, there's fashion design questions, there's fashion styling questions, pattern hacks, sewing patterns, fitting patterns. I'm just covering things off the top of my head that just happened last week in the live Q&A. So it's whatever you want to ask, but it's focused on everything that I already do. The embroidery is like that much of what I do, like that much. I love embellishing, but the main focus is fashion sewing. So Embroidery is really in style right now. So there might be some episodes of fashion embroidery on a sleeve, but the main focus will be on what jacket pattern, fitting the sleeves, sewing the sleeves in place, if that makes sense. So I hope that makes sense, but you can always bring whatever questions you want to for the table. Claudia says, all right, I'm in the group. Uh, discount on the clapper, Arnell. It was in the email, or if you're in the fashion sewing club, it's in the discount section. Message me if you can't find it, and I will give it to you. All right, guys. So I'm going to. I'll, I see there's more questions, but what I'm going to do. Thank you, Susan. The club info. Okay, let me post this, and I'm going to do my drawing for you guys, so you can see who wins. And then I'm going to wish you guys a wonderful weekend. So you find it at Angela Wolf Academy. There you go. I'm going to post this. 
and I will post the link as soon as we're not live. So if you go to academy.angelawolf.com, that's where the link is to everything. This is what the website looks like when you go there, academy.angelawolf.com. If you are already a member, if you go to the top right, you'll see sign in. That's where you sign in. Or when you scroll down, you can choose between my two courses. I only have two on this website right now, the Essential Guide to Sewing with Knits and the Fashion Sewing Club. So when you click on Fashion Sewing Club, it tells you that my timer went out for the $89 discount, but I left it so you can still sign up for a little bit longer at that discount. But you can sign up for a month. $99 is going to be the price um, after Sunday. But you just pick what you want and then click purchase. It tells you what's in here. You can actually open these areas. This is just on the preview page to tell you what's in there. In case you're wondering. And new things are added every week. So there you go. And then there's the bonus area for the live Q&A. And you can go back and watch the replays on any of these. So there's quite a bit in there. And each week, it's going to grow even bigger. So, and I'll answer more questions on that, on that. You guys can message me, ask questions in the group, whatever you want, and I can help. So, all right. So before everybody runs off, let's do a quick drawing here. And then I got to run to my phone meeting. It's nice hanging out with you guys on a Friday. <laughs> Although uh, Wednesday would have been fun too. Let me see. Where is the giveaway? Oh, that was the other thing on Wednesday. Because all of Facebook went down and so did Instagram, so did everything, I couldn't even get into the contest. So, oh, well, we didn't miss much, right? All right, so since it's been three weeks since I started this contest, I couldn't do a drawing in Puyallup. I couldn't do a drawing in Atlanta because it was way too busy. So we're going to do a drawing now. Now, if you're in the club already, you will just get the month added to what you have, a free month. I will change the date for when yours expires now to one more month. If you're in the group and you only have a monthly membership, I'm just going to add one month to your membership that you have now. If you're in the group and you have a yearly membership, I'm just going to add one month. And next week, I'm going to be drawing from the members in the group. So if you sign up for a month or if you sign up for a year, next week in our private group, I'm going to be drawing one winner for that's going to get an entire year added to their subscription. So that means if you're in for a year, you're gonna get a year added. If you're in for a month, you're gonna get a year added. So just a little tip there, but you have to be a member in the group to win the year. That's next week though. So do I have another contest coming up next week for on our regular Facebook? Yes, but I don't have it posted yet, so I'm not gonna tell you what it is. But I will touch base with you the beginning of the week. I will be here next week, don't forget, on Tuesday. I'm just looking up results here so I can draw the winner. I will be here on Tuesday at noon. We're going to be interviewing another person, uh, a young lady that's with the brother lives here. That's at noon. And on Wednesday, assuming the internet works well, I will see you for Facebook Live at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, just as normal. All right, so let's draw a winner. Where is it? Answers. Draw winners. All right, guys. So you get an extra winner if you shared this with friends or shared this on your page. Everyone who left a comment on Instagram got an extra drawing in here. And some of you left comments a few weeks ago on Facebook, and I put your name in here as well. So we are going to draw three winners. All right? Three winners. Make the draw. And this could be international. You don't have to be just in the United States for this one. Sydney, I just saw your comment on here. I hope that you are recovering well. She had surgery. Oh, great to see you, by the way. All right, it's drawing. All right, so these are the three winners. Someone just said, you should draw a new winner every day until next week. Well, we'll draw three right now, and I'll tell you what. Next Wednesday, we'll draw one new, one more. 
lucky winner. So these are the three winners for one month free of the Fashion Sewing Club. If you go to academy.angelawolf.com, uh, what I will do is email you the link with your how you get into the site. So the first winner is Maria Petro. She is... <laughs> Oh, I love these comments. I asked, what is your favorite part or why would you like to be in the club? And her answer was because you are my favorite instructor and I really want to be a member of this club. Well, Maria, you're a member for a month. Congratulations. And she is from, it doesn't say on here. I don't think I asked where anybody was from on this questionnaire. So congratulations, Maria. If you're on here, just say hi, but I will send you an email. So winner number two, Carol Peterson. Congratulations, Carol. I actually have a relative named Carol Peterson, but that's not her email address. So I know that that's not it. And she says she wants to join the club because she wants to learn new skills. All right, guys, drum roll. Winner number three is, her answer was, I have your tailoring class on Craftsy and think you're a great teacher. I'm eager to learn more. I'm eager for more skill building. Well, that's a good answer. And thank you for joining me on Craftsy. Robin Rogers is our third winner. So congratulations, Robin. So those are our three lucky winners for one month free of the Fashion Sewing Club. I'm going to tell you guys that I will have another giveaway next week for some a few exciting things. But since I don't have it ready to launch next Wednesday during our live show, I will draw one more winner. And if I leave a comment section, just pay attention to Facebook for the next few days. If you missed the newsletter and you want my discounts, just message me. But I'm going to post the link to the newsletter in the private group right now. As soon as we go off of the live, that's on Angela Wolf Patterns Facebook group. It's free to join. You just have to leave a comment while you want in because we're preventing. Well, we just want to know that you really want in the group. Sound good? All right. Well, you guys have a great weekend. Uh, let's see. What are we doing this weekend? Wolf's open house. My brother-in-law has a huge open house at his marina. I will be there making popcorn with my lovely husband, Wynn. So if you are in the St. Joe Bent Harbor area, come by. There's free lunch. I think it's open, I don't know, from 10 until 5, something like that. Don't quote me. But that's like the best time to come. Lum lunch time's the best. So pop in the back. You'll see Wynn and I back there making popcorn, and all my nephews and my niece are coming to make popcorn and pop, so you'll get to meet the fam. All right, bye, you guys. Have a great week, and I will see you. I'll see you online, but until then, I'll see you Tuesday for the live show sponsored by Brother at noon. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend.